Um, hello, everyone. So today, Iman and I are going to be talking about this report conducted by Gallup Pakistan, which discusses the spending attitudes and behaviors on Eid al -Azha. Okay, so hello everyone. With the report is divided into four sections. I will be covering the first and the last section, where Star will be covering the second and third questions, as well as the key findings and the executive summary for the report. The first section is perceptions about Eid al Azad. This section had seven points, and we will be discussing the few that we thought were important. The first one being, please tell me if, you, if anyone in your household or yourself performed Qurbani this year. 63% of participants reported that they did not perform any sort of sacrifice this year. This was a 13% decrease from 2019. The next question was, uh, which animal they prefer to sacrifice? The most popular response was a share in a cow or buffalo at 31%, followed by a cow, an entire cow at 28%, and a goat at 27%. The next question was in terms of the perception of how much total expenditure or the amount of money that they expected to spend, which rose compared to previous years. And the total expenditure of Eid al-Azza uh, for this year was on average 30,000 30, rupees. When 39% of participants reported that they spent between 20,000 to 40,000 rupees on Eid al-Azza. Uh, Sarah will be covering the next section. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to be talking about section two, which talks about items purchased on the occasion of Eid al-Azha, and it also has seven items. So firstly, we, the question asks uh, the population if they purchase new clothes on the occasion of Eid al-Azha this year, with 76% of respondents saying that no, they didn't, while only 24% of the respondents saying that they bought new clothes. Um, next, um, there, ha there is an increase in the proportion of people. This shows that there's been an increase in the proportion of people not purchasing new items for Eid, while 82% of the people also did not buy new shoes, and 88% of the people did not purchase any new home decorations. Uh, next, the question asked the respondents if they um, if they bought new items or dec uh, items of decoration for entertaining guests, while 64% of the people said that they didn't. So while the number of people purchasing new items has declined, those who are buying new things are having to pay on average a greater amount of money with 9,711 rupees on clothes and 4,185 rupees on shoes. I will now also be covering section three, uh, which mainly discusses the traditions and beliefs regarding Eid al -Azha that the Pakistani population has. So the first question asked respondents to um, ask them to what extent did they believe that giving money to an organization instead of sacrificing at home is a correct tradition instead of an incorrect one. Uh, with 19% of the people responding by saying that it's highly correct and somewhat correct was also 34% and the incorrect number of people was only 19%. Uh, which it, the, the findings of section three show that traditions related, related to sacrifice are more in favor of individuals or families performing sacrifices together at home instead of giving money to organizations. More people believed that it was correct to perform individual sacrifices at home at 91% of the respondents or to perform collective sacrifices with relatives at 90% than those who believed it was correct to give money to an organization instead of sacrificing at home at 53%. Um, now, Iman will be going over section four and its findings. Okay. Uh, section four talks about the perceptions of overeating and con the consumption of spicy dishes during Eid al -Azha. Uh, participants were asked whether they ate cautiously and with moderation during Eid al-Azha or whether they were more likely to overindulge in eating. 90% of participants responded that they ate with moderation, whereas only 5% of respond individuals responded that they tend to overeat. Of those people uh, who are more likely to suffer from things such as heartburn, acid reflux, indigestion, stomach ache, or any other physical discomfort, uh, only 9% of people experience these types of symptoms, whereas those people who ate moderately, the 90% did not experience these symptoms. Of the 9%, the, uh, the physical uh, ailments that they had the most were heartburn and acid reflux at 63%, stomach ache at 51%, indigestion at 26%, and other uh, issues such as gastric, uh, gastrointestinal issues at 3%. 
Uh, now Sarah will give us a rundown on the key points and the executive summary of the Idalaga report. So while this report was very extensive in covering many aspects of Eid al-Azhar, I am now going to be talking about one of the, a few of its main findings. So the first says that the number of people performing sacrifice on Eid al-Azhar is seeing a declining trend as only 37% reported doing so in 2023 compared to 52% in 2018. Next, 79% uh, of the respondents believed they spent more on sacrifice this year than they did last year with fewer Pakistanis purchasing new items for Eid al-Azhar than those who are not. Only 24% of the population purchased new clothes, while new shoes were bought by only 18%, showing a further decline. More people believed that it was correct to perform individual sacrifice at home at 91% and perform collective sacrifices with relatives at 90% than those who believed that it was correct to give money to an organization instead of sacrificing at home at 53%, which shows that the general population is more inclined towards individual and collective sacrifices. Lastly, 90% uh, of the Pakistanis report eating qurbani meat with moderation and not facing physical issues during Eid al -Azhar. Um, yeah. So these are the findings summarized by the Gallup, Pakistan, by Gallup Pakistan's Eid al report on spending, attitudes, and behaviors.